Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's been a while since I last filmed. I've been editing stuff, but I've uh, got a lot going on. So finally going to get back on the car today. Um, I've had a shipment of parts sent, so I can actually get on to fabricating some of the stuff that I've been talking about. So I'll give you a quick overview of what I'm doing, and then uh, we'll get stuck into it. All right, so we're going to start working on the back today. Finally cut out the, um, the spare wheel well. Um, I've already made a start to it. As I've shown in the last videos, but where this line is is where I'll cut it off from, and then I'll actually even cut from under there as well, because then the fire will is sealed from the underneath inside there. So once I cut all that out, then I will cut this rear quarter off. Um, so then the over fender can, or over quarter panel, should I say, can be put on just as a mock-up, um, so I know where everything's going to get bolted and make brackets and stuff to. And then eventually I'll mount a rear cage um, on the back of this, which I'll show you guys a bit later. Right, so this is the rear cage that I was talking about. So already comes with a jacking point, pro point, and the rear flat plates here will be for the bash bar. So ideally, once all this is cut off, we'll sit in here, and then this will end up holding the fuel tank once this is all in. So. I've cut up some flat plates already, so these will weld to the actual um, chassis rails that come out from um, just behind the diff, but then I'll make another set up, then tap them, or even put a nut insert behind them to make it removable. So, essentially, have this plate welded here, just like that and then have another plate behind it, which this is the plate that will be welded to the chassis rail, and then this plate will be welded to this, so then the back of this will have some nuts welded to the back of it, so then it's removable if it ever got damaged that bad, or you know when I refresh the car one day, pull everything apart, and it's just the shell. So that's it there, it's not bad for weight wise, but. All right, so I'm gonna use this air tool with this wire wheel to clean up the glue um, where the seals are, sorry, where the seams are, so I can um, mark out a clear line that I'm gonna cut with the uh, reciprocating saw. So I'm just gonna mark out a line now. I'm going to be cutting.
So a lot of the car indoor, but here you can see that um, line up along the um, chassis just in there that I want to follow. So I'm going to go from the top because I can see where the crease is and use an angle grinder under there. So that's where I was picking off the stitch rods there. So I'll, um, I'll clean that up. That's the other side there. So yeah, as I said, from the underneath of the car, see where the welding marks is. That's where the firewall finishes. So. Up along here is where I'm going to get an angle grinder as well and just follow that line, come up to about here and then, yeah, so this will stay, sorry, and then all that stuff from there on will be cut off. So I'll just lower the car and then get the angle grinder out. So it just got real noisy in here. I'm in a tin shed and it's raining. It's pouring down actually. So bear with me for the noise. I think we're still doing okay. But um, I'll just show you what I'm up to now. Uh, I've just cut the last bit of the wheel well out and I'm actually wrapped how it's come out. I, uh, I didn't think the, save, the reciprocating saw would do so well under here. So that's where the inside of the car finishes. So I'm gonna um, just get a, a grinding disc and just clean it up, especially in these areas here. See the lips just form. But um, yeah, once that's done, I might tidy some of this up, but then I'll start cutting the guards out. But um, no, nah, wrapped with how it's come out so far, actually. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got the subframe in. Now, you probably notice that it's slightly different to your, uh, your average subframe. But this is actually uh, a Winters modified subframe. So this is being made by HGK. So it's a pretty nice unit actually. It's uh, well fabricated and it's uh, been powder coated quite well. So and they've even, if you have a look here where all the nuts and bolts go, they've actually uh, cleaned up the surface so there's no interference with uh, paint if it comes to there you go, just like that, and they've done that everywhere. So, with that as well, the solid mount um, subframe bushes that have been pressed in. And then just for extra assurance, there's actually a bolt in there. Um, we can, so I'm not going to, oh, I'm not going to see that one. Yeah, so up there, they actually thread the, um, the bushing and then put a, a bolt through it so it ensures that it doesn't actually move so pretty impressed with it i think there's a little bit of flex in there because there's only two bolts in it at the moment um so i've just got it in there for now just so i can um see whether the firewall interferes i think i may have to cut out uh, cut out like a notch just between here like in in between there um up, up on the firewall here but otherwise it's I'll have to get the excuse me. I'll have to get the diff in to definitely know exactly where I need to cut. But um, at least that's in for the moment. Um, next, I'll probably start on the uh, the wheel arches. All right. So the next stage is to cut the quarter panels off. So I've just marked it out with masking tape where I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut on the outside of the masking tape line. So for the moment, as my dad suggested, is to cut less to begin with and double check with the panel I've got and then cut more later. So I'll start cutting from the back here and then working my way up. Yeah. 
a, it's a bit of bracing that runs up from here and connects up to the top. a long piece. Put it back up again? No, I keep going. Does it weigh much? How good does that look? So this panel here, as you would have probably guessed, HGK. Um, I think they're a 55. So it's a Rocket Bunny kit that's been molded onto the stock quarter panel. So it's all in one piece, so I don't have to rivet essentially this Rocket, uh, Rocket Bunny kit on. So this is a version one kit. But um, as I was saying, when I was gonna, before I cut it, just want to make sure, so I don't know if you can see here, it's flexing up a bit. So, actually I'll grab the camera. Ow. So I'll probably have to cut off that inside under there so the panel can actually sit flat. But um, yeah, looks sick. Alright guys, got the other side cut off and I'm actually wrapped with how it's uh, come out. I thought it was going to be a lot harder um, to cut out, especially here where there was a spot weld to separate the two panels. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just clean up the panels. I did cut into here a little bit where it joins up, where I shouldn't have, so I'll clean that up and I'll throw a few spot welds under there just to hold it back in. I mean it's not going to go anywhere, but just to tie the panel back in. 
And then um, I'll just clean these up as well. We might finish them flat and put a plate there just to seal it up. Because um, it looks like there was a structural bracing along here, but mainly just for the strut towers, I think. Yeah, from the inside. So I think that's a majority of the big work done today. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'll just clean it up and then um, mock up the panels. I'll weld in that rear cage. So then I'm ready to mount the fuel tank. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed it, and if you want to um, like, subscribe and share, and we'll catch you on the next episode.